Hi everyone and welcome along. It's the last week of 2020 so I thought it was a perfect time to do a nice mindful relaxing bit of painting so we're going to do some beautiful loose watercolour butterflies. So grab your paints and let's get started. Hi guys, so today we're going to play around with some lovely loose watercolour butterflies. Um, the easiest way to begin is to attempt a butterfly uh, that's just from the side. So you're just painting one wing because I find that any kind of butterfly symmetrical thing is the same issue of painting a Christmas tree when you're good at one side and not so good at the other. So we're going to start off with two simple little ones and I'm going to start off with a very loose little body. So we've got the head, the abdomen and the thorax and I'm going to have my wings flying out behind and this is such a lovely project for messing about with loose wet watercolour and colour blends. So I've got my large size 4 brush and I've got some turquoise here and I am going to just paint and just kiss the edge of that black there using the belly of the brush just creating the top wing and then just with a bit more water on my brush there I've created a lovely wing then I'm going to get a little bit more of the turquoise and I'm going to paint in a lower wing there and I'm just going to fill it up fill up the shape and what's nice is we're getting a little bit of the black coming out from the body uh, but not too much because what I'm not doing is completely waterlogging the page I find that the top wing always comes out just a bit further than the bottom one it's got more of a sort of straight out angle whereas the bottom one's more of a sort of simple leaf shape and then something else fun we can do is drop in another colour. So I'm just getting my Prussian blue woken up and either we can drop in a little bit at the top there and the bottom, we could drop in a little bit there as well. And to be honest, you could just paint those till your heart's content. But I'm here to show you a few more options. So let's have another go at one of these wings from the side. So a little body again, so I do a little blob of a head and then the thorax and the abdomen just curling over a little bit. Now this one I wanted to try and replicate the sort of almost the veins I suppose of a butterfly wing um, so this time still with my large brush because we can use the fine point I'm going to create more of an outline and just from looking very basically at butterfly wing shapes I noticed that essentially it's one big loop that then turns into lots of smaller ones and I'm just going to join that up there and then what I'm going to do is just take another colour let's take a different blue here and I'm just going to drop in that colour in there so we've got a sort of channel of wetness going on here and now I'm going to paint in the bottom edge do one of those nice sort of loops on the end that you sometimes get and we'll do another little set of these little sort of stained glass windows we're creating but we're using lots of water not too much colour but just enough so we get a little bit of blend and bleed and then that's rather pretty but what we can do with a clean wet brush is we can just give it a little bit of extra 
extra fun. Um, I always wait till I've sort of done the full stained glass outline and then just with that clean wet brush but not overly wet I just want to grab a little bit of colour going in there because what happens is you just get the faintest outline almost like a shadow of the defined shapes and it just sort of blends off into nothing so that's quite a fun one to play around with as well and then of course if we're going to be doing this properly our butterfly needs some antennae so just with a little brush and that's kind of fun but I want to show you a butterfly with both wings open because that's really what we're here for so but I do recommend having a little practice first just getting used to the shape from just one side so I'm going to grab another bit of paper here pop that in and this time we're going to have a go at a butterfly well let's do two butterflies from two different sides so I'm going to use some lovely permanent rows here that I've got all woken up and I'm just going to start by placing in just a very small sort of central body shape that I've got as a little bit of a reference. So we've got a little sort of thorax and abdomen. And I am going to paint a wing shape, top wing. And then what I'm going to do with so a clean wet brush, all I'm going to do is sort of fill out there with brush strokes. I'm not going to worry too much about getting the perfect, the perfect sort of edge to it because I want, I, when I was practicing this yesterday, I was coming up with ways to give ourselves a fighting chance of trying to get a symmetrical butterfly. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn the paper a little bit because I found it was easy to do one side and then really hard to do the other one so I've got my outline you can see that's not really the same at all but because I'm the way I'm painting it with lots of brush strokes it's much easier to then start evening stuff up a little bit that's starting to look nice and then what I'm going to do is drop in a little Alizar in crimson just in both sides there then I'm going to paint the bottom wings so I'm going to just leave a tiny bit of space and all I'm doing is painting these brush strokes out I'm not worrying about a perfect edge just yet and then this time I need to tilt the pages this way a fraction because we always find it's easy to paint one side but quite difficult to paint the other. So then you can just spend a bit of time evening up your shape. There should be enough water on the brush there. You don't need to get any more colour on but now I'm going to add Alizar and Crimson to both sides and it should be wet enough that it's got a bit of movement but not so much that it's flooding the page. Now this is all very nice but what I'm now going to do, I'm now going to use Mars Black to create a uh, an even shape around the edges but also this is going to create a lovely sort of effect. So I'm just going to very gently just dab in colour at the sides here. I'm not disturbing it too much. And I actually still really like the slightly sort of torn edge almost of this butterfly. And then I'm going to add in one of those beautiful extra little tails on the butterfly. Okay, and then on the other side, 
still just about wet enough. If this was all completely soaking wet, it would travel far too far along the butterfly. And the beauty of this project is you could just use these techniques and come up with so many different varieties. When I was researching this, I just was bowled over by the, the range of different butterflies I just had no idea about. We can even those up and that's really rather lovely. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drop in a little bit of darkness in there and we're just going to let that sit and blend very slowly whilst we paint one more butterfly. Okay, so the other symmetrical butterfly I want to do is one with a bit more sort of detail in the, the wings itself. So I'm going to start, I've got a bit too much of a blob on my brush there. I'm going to start with a little blob for the head and one for the thorax, a little point for the abdomen. And this time, this is another technique I came up with to sort of help me get a really nice even butterfly shape with the wings. So this time I'm going to do shorter brush strokes and I'm going to try and not let them actually join in with each other too much and actually turn it into a bit of a design feature. Okay, and then I'm gonna extend that out and I'm gonna finish it off from the other side. In fact, we could add one, I think, let's add one more nice. So you see I'm sort of coming at it from two sides which I think is a really helpful thing because you sort of start off with one one side and then you're not quite sure where to finish so if you've actually just done one side give yourself a little moment to re reset and come from the other side and you end up creating a rather beautiful shape. Okay and then let's do our lower wing So just starting with the tip of the brush and then squishing down the belly of the brush. Just getting a little bit of water on there and then and then just filling it off. Coming to a nice little tip at the end there. And that already looks quite fun. Okay, so I'm gonna just turn the page a little bit just because it's easier for me. Actually, I'll turn it that way, I think. Just to get me started. And what's cool is the shape of your wing can be made up from sort of slightly different shapes, I think, because let's face it, this is a loose butterfly painting project. This is not a super, super precise one. Just a little marker there. What you will find as a slight challenge is from different sides, you'll have to sort of angle your brush slightly differently to get the same sort of effects just from the way your hand holds the brush. Okay, that's nice. And then we can always just even things up either side. But yeah, I'm pleased with that. And then for the lower one. <laughs> I seem to be coming out further away from my butterfly's body. 
Okay, and then coming down. So yeah, that's the cool thing. Making it up from all these different pieces just means you can sort of piece it all together and keep sort of adjusting and adapting the shape as you go. So that's kind of fun already. But what I want to do, just with a little bit of black again, using the tip of my brush, maybe even less colour on there. I'm just going to start joining it up. It just starts to make some sort of inch slightly interesting patterns. And then you can slightly wet your brush and just get some interesting things going on with the design. You could use any colour really. But what's fun about this is you can do the whole thing just with one brush. This just seemed like a really nice, soothing project for the end of 2021. Because this funny sort of bit in between Christmas and New Year, this last week of the year, if you celebrate Christmas, then it, it can be a bit of a strange week. We are not really sure where you are, what you're doing, what day of the week it is. So it seems like the perfect time to maybe just settle in with your watercolours and for those of you who have received watercolour sets for Christmas I'm very excited for you and um, and thank you for sort of coming and finding me there we go I think that looks rather nice and then all there is left to do is to give ourselves some little antennae so the little brush And there you have four butterflies for mindful, relaxing watercolour for New Year. Thanks so much for watching. I could paint those butterflies for days and days and just feel so relaxed by the end of it. So I really hope you enjoy painting those. I wanna say a big thank you to my patrons for your support and your support enables me to keep creating these videos that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button below and comment below to let me know how you're getting on. And if you subscribe, then you'll never miss another video. So until next time, Bye.